you want to do, you can do it by yourself. You can go walk by yourself. You can do a lot of things by yourself. Uh, might sound ridiculous to some of you guys. Basically, I was really scared to go outside. I felt like I didn't deserve to go outside. I didn't deserve to go on a walk. But you don't need to feel guilty for just existing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I didn't sleep the whole night. I had massive anxiety. I definitely drank a lot of coffee. Excuse me if I get a little, you know. Okay. This is something that I've been thinking a lot about recently. Things I wish I knew. Or you can say that I wasted my teenage years. When I look back onto my teenage years, like such as in high school or in college, something that's like very simple. Like I just wish someone fucking told me. Life would be a little bit easier. They're not going to be an order of importance. There's this thing on the top of my head. The first thing that I can think of is that anything that you want to do, you can do it by yourself. That's not to say that, oh, you should do it with a friend. I'm just saying that if your friends are all busy and you can't do it with a friend, don't think that, oh, I still can't do this. Yes, you can. Anything you want to do, you can do it with yourself. You can have a lot of fun doing things by yourself. You can go exploring by yourself. You can go to a cafe by yourself. You can go to a grocery store by yourself. You can go walk by yourself. You can do a lot of things by yourself. Just because no one is doing it for you, don't let that suddenly just become a dead end. I can't do this, I can't do Yes, you can. You can do it by yourself. And again, it takes courage, but I just need to tell you that it is okay to do it by yourself. Because back then when I didn't have friends, I used to think that I cannot do this by myself. I can't, like I can't do it. But yes, you can. It is okay to do things by yourself. People do a lot of things by themselves. And sometimes when I see like a teenager doing things by themselves, it's a very admirable quality. It shows a lot of independence. And like I've always said, back in like high school i just never really dressed up i was basically <laughs> And I was too scared to dress up. I also had a pretty toxic mindset. Like when I see other girls dress up, in my head, I'm just like, oh man, why are they dressing up? In my head, I'm judging them. Why am I judging them? Because I am jealous. I envy them. Like, why can't I dress up? Especially in high school, it's a very scary period. You know, you're with the same people. And some high schoolers can be really fucking mean. Dress up however the fuck you want. Honestly, when I think back to my high school years, I'm like, I could just wore a dress. You know, I didn't wear a dress until my high school graduation. I think I've said this before, but thinking back to it, I'm just like, that is so absurd. I was so scared of wearing a dress because I I had like really bad body image issues and I'm just like, I could have rocked a dress. I could have worn a fucking dress. What's the big deal? So to my teenage years and to those of you guys who are in high school, wear whatever you want. Wear whatever makes you happy. If you're not hurting anyone, you're not hurting yourself, do it. For those who judge you, fuck them. Those who judge you have too much fucking time on their hands to be doing that. You don't need anyone's permission to dress up. One of the things that uh, might sound ridiculous to some of you guys, but I'm still gonna say it anyway, because maybe some of you guys need to hear it, is the fact that you can go outside. Okay, this sounds absurd. I think I had this period of time until last year. Basically, I was really scared to go outside. I felt like I didn't deserve to go outside. I didn't deserve to go on a walk. I didn't deserve to go to the grocery shop or I didn't deserve to go to a cafe and just sit there and journal and do absolutely nothing. This is still something that I'm working with, but it's just that I felt guilty. I felt guilty of taking up space when I'm just doing something with no purpose, to be honest, and with no goal. And it took me a long time to get over it until last year, I think I had a moment where, you know, I just suddenly realized like, I can do these things. Why can't I do these things? I can do these things for myself. They're for my own well-being. And why does everything I need to do need to have a fucking purpose or a goal? So this is something I really want to tell you guys, which is that you can do things with absolutely no fucking purpose. No purpose. You can just do it. You can go outside and go for a fucking walk. You can because I said so and you deserve that. You can do things just to be happy. You don't need a reason to be happy because you are born, you are here. Why, why the fuck don't you want happiness? That doesn't make sense, right? Why, why do you want to suffer? You don't need to suffer to justify anything. You can have happiness. You're born to the right of happiness. You can have happiness, okay? Here you go. Literally, here you go, okay? Uh, this is for my college self, basically. Very important to those of you guys who are in college. Choose the fucking major you want. I know a lot of us, at least for first gen, I'm a first gen student. You want to choose a major that like, you know, to be the most successful. If you really, really put your mind to it, you can be successful with any major. I just genuinely think that if you have a passion for something, genuinely, Go for it. For me, I was, I, I, oh my God, I was like engineer, I was a CS major and then I switched to quant econ. Why? But I wasn't passionate about it. I didn't like it. If I can go back in time, I would have went to art school. Would have went to film school. I would have just done something like art related. But again, it differs from person to person. Every person's situation is different. I totally get it. But this is just an advice I will give to my teenager self. When I was younger, I've always been on the lookout for happiness. Pretty deep for a teenager, to be honest. Like, damn. I think I was always like, my mind was a little mature when I was younger. Happiness can be found anywhere. It can be found through 
what the color of the fucking sky is. Going to the city, but surprisingly the city is quiet. Seeing some really pretty flowers. Seeing a bird that's like really close to you. The morning sky, the night sky. Being with lovely, lovely people. Having really great food. Meeting really kind strangers that are just kind to you for no reason. There's so many, so many different things. You can find happiness every single day. Back then I was always like, oh, I can find happiness if I accomplish this goal. I always visualize it as some type of end goal, but no, you can find happiness through the journey. You can find happiness every single day. That's not like, such a beautiful thing. And sometimes it can get hard. Sometimes you just feel like everything fucking sucks. I just want to rot in my bed. And sometimes it's very hard to even give it a chance, aka today. For the past few days, if you don't know, I've been rotting in bed. And then today I didn't sleep because I was just like, since I have this energy, I am just gonna go out because I'm scared that if I sleep, when I wake up, I won't have the energy to go out. I did go out. I saw the morning sky. It made me very, very happy. So it just goes to show you that you need to give everything a chance and you have to trust me on that. <laughs> I felt a lot of guilt as a kid. So something that I realized is that you can live life without feeling guilty. And I know that sounds really obvious, right? But you don't need to feel guilty for just existing. This is something that's so goddamn obvious. But as a kid, I think I just didn't really realize that I was even feeling guilty. Even now, I still suffer from this, but I constantly need to remind myself that just because I'm doing something good for myself, or maybe because I failed at something, but that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Doesn't mean that, oh, you should be shameful that you fail. No, it's just a, a process. It's just life. You fail and you learn from it. It's okay to fail. Those who have followed me for a while, you know, the video I made where, you know, I grew up ugly. It fit into the conventional beauty standards, but something that I wish I just could just tell my teenage self is that you're beautiful. You just don't see it. You're beautiful. And I think that a lot of us need to hear this, especially, you know, for girls. There's so many beauty fucking standards, right? There's always like trends with your body, with your face. Ah, it's just know that you're beautiful, okay? And again, beauty is subjective. As long as you think you're beautiful, who gives a fuck? If you think you're beautiful, is it hurting anyone? I would go as even far as saying being delusional is key. I'll do that I'm beautiful and somebody can be like, delusional as fuck. Okay, if I think I'm beautiful, does that fucking hurt you? Does my happiness harm you? I, I really hope not because it shouldn't fucking hurt you. If being delusional, how be delusional? Taking care of yourself is not too much. It is never too much. And if people think it's too much, then they're not doing enough. They're not doing enough, babe. Like, shut the fuck up. Some people, you know, back in high school, again, like I said, can be really fucking mean. They can judge you. They'll say shit behind your back. Like, oh my God, why is she doing that? Why am I in your conversation? Do you have nothing else to better fucking talk about? And why is my name in your fucking mouth? Is it because anything that you talk about yourself is not interesting enough, so you need to put me in your conversation? For you to be heard? That is just fucking pathetic, in my opinion. Those people who just be talking shit about you when you've done nothing to hurt others, they have a sad, sad life, honestly. They're just fans. Something that I want to tell my younger self is that prestige doesn't matter as much as you think. And I know, like, for certain majors, like, probably, like, certain fields that you want to get into, prestige matters. All I want to say is that if you don't get into your dream college, don't beat yourself over it. Like, don't be, I'm a social failure, I'm a piece of shit. No, you're not. You tried your best. That's all that matters. It's okay. It is what you make out of that experience. I genuinely mean it. No matter where you go, you know, you can seek opportunities. It does not matter. You're good. You're fine. Trust me. You're, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna survive. <sighs> Everyone's fucking human. Do not put anyone on a pedestal. I have done this before, super guilty. Don't they disappoint you? When you put people on a pedestal, some people might think that they're above you. So when they talk to you, they might treat you in a negative way. Everyone's fucking human. Your parents, teachers, whatever. Your idols, celebrities, whatever. This one might be a little cliche, but um, go for what your heart wants. If you have something that you know you want it, then you should go for it. This might be really shocking to some of us because you're like, how can I go for what I want? None of my friends are doing what I really want to do. Then you can be the one. Oh my god, it's like the movies. Except that you're gonna be playing the main character. And it's definitely scarier in real life than comparing to movies. Because in the movies, you can predict the shit. But in real life, you probably can't. I can't predict the future for you. But I think that if you keep on going, 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 you will end up somewhere you like. This is something I can tell you guys, which I've said before, you are very capable. Don't doubt your abilities. Think about your past, you know? There's so many difficult shit that you have came through. The things that you think that you were never gonna be able to get through, you did. I'm not capable of that, I cannot do it. Stop saying that, because when you keep saying that, it's gonna become true. And at the end, maybe you really can't do it. So instead, what if you say that? Maybe I can do that. What's the harm of you saying that? You can give it a try, you know? And as time goes on, it's just something to remember is that time changes people. What you want now may not be what you want in the future. And that is okay. It doesn't mean that, oh my God, I'm so fake for like not, not sticking to what I want. 
it's fine to change. It's fine to change your mind. It is never a right answer, you know? And it's not like, oh, the things I want in the past, like they were wrong. No, given the situation that you were in before, you just thought that that was the right answer, right? You can't blame yourself for that because you don't know the future, right? People around you can change. We ourselves, we can change. We are what we look like what we want, what we do. Hopefully we're all changing for the better. As a wrap up, I do just wanna say that you can have a lot of fear in the things you wanna do, but at the end, you need to believe in yourself. Even if no one else does, even with all the odds fucking against you, you need to believe in yourself. And yes, you can be scared believing in yourself. That's fine because we all have fucking fear, right? Especially just, you know, doing something that is not your typical thing. You can have doubt sometimes, but at the end, after all that doubt, after all that struggle, you still need to be on the path of believing in yourself. And this journey of believing in yourself is really scary because you, you, you'll take different type of routes. You may be, oh my, this is scary. I don't want to do this. But at the end, you still need to move forward. All you got at the end is yourself, right? Other people can believe in you and can help you believe in yourself. But at the end, you need to be the one believing in yourself because this is your life. And because you think you can do this, you are going to take action. You're always going to end up closer to your goal. Because if you don't believe you're going to achieve it, you're never going to do anything to achieve it. Be delusional. Think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna achieve it. I'm gonna be great. Through this journey, some people may laugh at you. And those are usually the people that are too scared to achieve what they want, so they judge you. And then once you hit your goal, then they start knocking on your door like, <laughs> not what's up. You and at the end, just know that everyone has problems. It's like, I feel like sometimes just knowing that other people have problems, it makes us feel like we're not as alone. And at the end, life is short. It is a blessing. Like we're in the same time period, right? We're all gonna die someday. Yeah. No one can beat time. You should do what you want. And you should smile more. You should do things that make you happy and you should not question about it. Don't feel guilty for your own happiness. Treat yourself with respect. Be kind to yourself. Really be nice to yourself, okay? These are the things that I can come up on the top of my head. If we can probably sit here for like another hour or longer and there's probably gonna be more, but um, that's, I'm just gonna stop right there. I think that if someone just told her about these things, I think that her life would have been a little bit easier. Sometimes we just need someone to tell us this. Your past created who you are, right? Like you shouldn't blame your past. If I didn't have my past, I wouldn't be who I am today because my past created me but I do think that sometimes if somebody just told me a couple of these advice I can become quicker into the person I am maybe possibly but I, I personally would like to believe that it will make my life a lot easier I'm really grateful for a lot of things that happened during my teen years but I do think that some parts of it I wasted on too much of worrying self-hatred which has done less, less of that hence I'm making this video and I really really hope this helps some of you guys I feel like I definitely touched on a lot of different topics in this video I feel like some of these pieces of advice I can definitely elaborate more on it if you guys want I, I genuinely just hope that this video helps some of you guys because these are the things that I wish I heard i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you guys think i will see you guys all very very soon okay i love you guys bye, -bye.